hey, this is where the Beach Boss Influence is. If we're meeting for the first time, we're excited to be here. Let us know if you're joining us. Let us know where you're joining us from. There's a saying that you can need a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And a question that we often get asked by students um, you know, is how can I get my team members to take action? How can I get them? How can I get my customers to keep buying? How can my, I've got all these team members, but none of them are doing anything. And that's the thing is, is that, you know, you can give them all the tools, you can give them all, you can give them everything that they need. But if they don't decide that they want, that they want it for themselves, if they don't, you know, realize, you know, that, that, it, that this is what they want to do, um, you can't, you cannot force people. You cannot, you know, you can give, you can give, you can give a, your team an entire roadmap, a training to teach them how to do absolutely everything. And you will still find that some people do nothing. The same as, you know, we find people, some people come into, you know, come into um, our academy, come into seven figure and some people fly and they take massive action and other people don't do it. And, you know, we can't, we can give people everything. We can give them all the training. We can give them all the support, you know, answer all the questions. But still, you will find that some people don't take action. And let me know or let us know in the in the chat. You know, we've got Cat and Fran today. But let us know in the chat, you know, if this is something that you've struggled with, if this is something that, that you're finding, like maybe in your, you know, in your team, um, that you know, you've got people and you just, you, you wish that they would just take action. You wish that they would, you so know, what do you do with them? <laughs> what do you do with those people? You leave them be. Yeah. You cannot. So my, my thing has always was you lead from the front, you go first and you keep, you know, you keep, enrolling people you're always there to support them you're always there to check in on them you're always there to to you know to to find out you know where they're at and if there's something they want to do but you know you have to look after yourself and you have to go first you go first and you keep enrolling people and you lead from the front and sometimes they might be inspired and thinking oh my goodness she's enrolling all these people maybe I can do this too but still, some people and some people might just not have that entrepreneurial drive and might just think, well, actually, I'm quite happy just ordering products every month. And I don't want to grow a business and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do all the things that that, you know, that they're doing. And I'm quite happy where I'm at. And so, you know, be there to support them. But but you have to accept that some people are not going to do anything. And, you know, Kat and I were talking about this earlier. Kat, do you want to you talk about it? because. Sure. You know, yeah, you carry on because you know yeah. they, they need a lot to of times, A lot of times people join things, not only business, any kind of new adventure, weight loss, I don't know, traveling, relationship, because they get excited and they think, oh my gosh, this is gonna be such an amazing thing and so easy and so blah 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 blah. So they get in, whatever they get into, and usually in the first couple steps are the hardest ones, right? And they get discouraged right away or they realize, well, that's not what I thought it would be. Uh, that's not as easy as I thought it would be or life happened. And back then I thought, you know, that will work, but now it's not working. So they get discouraged very quickly because in the beginning, I don't know, I need to call this law. When the, you make a decision and the life sends you a curveball, kind of like to test you if you really want that thing, right? So it's a law of what? I don't know. A law of, um, what do you call it when you drink something almost like? <laughs> well, it's, uh, <clears throat> I, I had something come into my head. I don't know. I want to, I want to kind of say, you know, reality actually, reality steps in and, you know, sometimes, sometimes people don't have the, the grit, the determination, the drive to keep going when shit happens. So that's when, quite normal. I yeah. would say probably 90% of people will be that way where they mm -hmm. join things and then they don't do anything for mm -hmm. many various reasons, right? And we can't control it. We absolutely can't control it. You only can control what you can give them or what you can educate them on and what they do with it or don't do with it. You can't control it. So just 
let it go. I remember for the longest time, I felt responsible. I felt like a failure if some of my team members joined and didn't succeed or because they didn't do anything. So I really carried that guilt on myself that it's my fault. It's my responsibility. And it didn't feel good at all. <laughs> and I felt like although my business was growing and I was making money, uh, if people who didn't do anything didn't make any money, I felt like it was my fault. So first of all, you need to let go of that guilt if you have it. Uh, you need to let go of people who don't want to go with you, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's just extra <clears throat> weight that you don't have to carry. So let them go. And a lot of times it also can happen to us while we join some things and we're like, well, I just don't want to do it or I can't do it. Or we just don't have that grit. Like we fall into that 90% of people that quit. It happens to all of us, right? I didn't succeed in all of my ventures. <laughs> some of them were like, well, uh, it was just a lesson. You know, I have to move on. I can not continue doing this. So lesson learned, I'm out, right? So the lesson here is it will happen, mm -hmm. maybe not to you, but to other people. Let them go to people who don't want to go with you. And sometimes we think that it was a waste of time or a waste of money or a waste of effort. So I also learned throughout my life, there's no such thing as a waste of anything. Uh, whether happens. we get what we wanted from the experience or didn't, we still got what we needed to get, which mm -hmm. is a lesson, right? Let's say if you spend money on something and you didn't get what you expected to get from it, you still got what you needed to get, right? Yeah, always say, we don't get what we want, we get what we need. So those yeah. people who joined you and didn't do anything, they got what they needed. They got some kind of lesson. They got some kind of realization. They got something. You might never know it, what they got out of it. They might never realize what they got out of it, right? Because we always look for what I wanted to get. And we think that since we didn't make the money or whatever, we didn't get it. But we always get what we need, not what we want. So that's what I wanted to share. <laughs> yeah. And um, I, want to, I want to kind of segue from what we're talking about into making sure that you are looking after yourself. Because ultimately, you know, yeah, life's been happening. I'm starting to get back on track, I feel. And, you know, I, I think you need – so let go of the guilt. Let go of the guilt. You know, you have realized now life has been happening, okay? Recognize life has been happening, Okay, and now it's time for me to get back on track um, and celebrate the fact that, you know, life happened. Maybe you took a few steps back, but now you have the chance to go forward again and let go of guilt. This guilt does not serve you. It's not serving you right now. Okay, so it happened and life happened for a reason and it tested you. Yeah. You know, when 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 you were when you were trying to scale your business and trying to grow and you know I don't know I don't know who this is but as you were as you were trying you know working shit happened life happened it happened for you it happened for a reason okay to test you to see whether you have the grit the courage the determination the chutzpah the whatever you want to call it to keep going and to get back on track again so let go of that feeling of guilt because it's not really not serving you. Um, and I, I, was, I was saying, and I can remember years ago, um, I can't remember what training it was, but they always said, you need to remember, like when you, if you're in a plane, all right, and the plane is going down and you, they teach you, put your mask on yourself first before you, before you look after your kids or look after everyone else. And you're thinking, well, that's a bit selfish. Like I, I want to look after my kids first. No, you can't look after your kids if you haven't looked after yourself. If you're not breathing, you can't look after your kids. You can't look after your husband, your wife, your whoever it is who's next to you, who you want to look after. And so in this, as you know, in this network marketing journey that you are going through, okay, you need to make sure that you are looking after yourself, that you are still, that number one, you are making sure that you are 
um, that you, you are filling your cup every day. Okay, we've taken I've taken a bit of a right turn, but number one, that you are filling your cup every day, that you're looking after yourself, that you are growing, that you are you know doing personal development, that you're reading, you're listening to podcasts, you are you know listening to audiobooks, that you that you are that you are growing. Um, and that you are looking after your business, okay? Because as much as we feel responsible for all the people that we enroll, it's their businesses, and we can't want it more for them than they want it for themselves. And you need to let go of, you know, of their, you know, you're always there. Obviously, you're always there to support them. You're always there to help them. But you need to let go of your desire for their success, and look after yourself. And it's not being selfish. They have to want it for themselves as much as you do, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it will be really heavy uh, baggage to carry around. Yeah. And another thing came to my mind when, when me and friend were talking about it before we pushed the record button is that sometimes also we are excited about things that we're doing and we want other people to be excited, right? And we want them to do those things, whatever it is, right? Some, th some experiences that were great for you, you want to share with everyone and you're like, oh my God, why no one wants it, right? <laughs> I want you to want it or whatever it is. It's amazing, right? It will change your life. Usually it never works. People have to come to that conclusion realization on their own. Let's say... Um, like you try to convince someone, oh, you need to lose weight. I have great products. It's going to help you. They might not even think that I ne they need to lose weight. And you can even offend people by trying to convince them and whatever. Or someone tried to, what did they try? Let's say someone going to try to sell me hair products. Like I would be like, do you think I have bad hair? Like why? No, I'm happy with my hair. Like don't, I don't care that your stuff is, you know, going to make... A, B, C to me, I'm just not on that journey, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or if you try to sell, let's say, anti-wrinkle cream, I enjoy my wrinkles. That's a part of life, whatever, whatever, right? There are people who just not ready for your journey, not ready for the journey that you offer them to go on. What I'm trying to say, people have to realize that they need that, that thing that you want them to have on their own. Like, the horse has to realize that I'm in front of the water. Do I want to drink it or not? It's their decision, right? And you can't push that journey on them. You can't push that decision on them. Usually the hardest part is to watch our loved ones to struggle through something, right? And we want them to have better life or better health, whatever it is. And we're like, well, just try it. And they're like, F off, like, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I don't want your whatever. I don't want to make money. I'm happy with my janitor job. Like, F off. <laughs> I'll tell you, um, I've, I've got a story. So I go to a personal trainer and for the longest time, um, I'd say probably for the last 18 months, he's been like trying to encourage me to, okay, stop eating so much bread stop drinking the wine every night Fran stop doing this every night stop doing that every night stop like you know and I just I didn't want it badly enough yet yet okay um and he just you know he just kept on uh, he just kept saying oh, you know maybe don't have as many glasses of wine at night or I don't I only used to have one but don't you know and maybe you know don't go for pizzas every week to the local pizza place um and eventually it came to a point where I thought okay enough's enough I actually need to take control of the weight that has crept on post menopause and I need to do it and um you know now he's still really supportive great you're doing so great I'm so happy for you like yes keep going he was always there but until I wanted it until I decided okay enough's enough I need to do something um it didn't matter what he said. It didn't matter how much he nagged me. I kept drinking the wine at night. We kept going for pizzas. I kept buying delicious bread, you know, all the things. Okay. So can you see the analogy there? It's like, I didn't want it badly enough yet. 
and you know some people may never may it may that pain, that point ne- may never come in their lives and that's okay and you just need to be okay with that okay um because you know they're there they're at the water people need me to make the decision on their own and you cannot you just take you them cannot, to the water and they yeah. have to make the decision right you, you cannot and sometimes we also get discouraged inspiring people or motivate people or educating people and we think like oh they don't want it like nobody wants it right i tried nobody wants it so everyone's journey is different and for some people let's say it takes three months to realize that they have a problem and there are solutions out there for some people it might take five years to realize mm-hmm. it, 10 years the whole lifetime 30 years 50 years mm-hmm. but if you're just there, not for your own, let's say, oh, I'm here to make money. And if I didn't make money last month, I'm not going to be doing it next month, right? Because it's not worth it. So if you're there without the dollar signs and you're just there to drip on people or to plant those seeds and share, you know, oh my gosh, I found out, learned that such and such ingredient is actually bad for you. Remember how back in the days, everyone was so excited about diet soda, like, oh my gosh, that's going to save all our problems. Now we all know that diet soda is even worse than the regular soda because of the artificial sweeteners that they use in there. Yeah. So it's kind of like the same thing. You realize something, oh my gosh, I'm going to share it today with people. And I don't care, you know, if they gonna, you know, need this information someone they're needing this information right but if you stop showing up and their journey gonna last three years you and you're not gonna show up for this three years they're never gonna find you so that's actually another secret of how we became successful we just stuck around for so long enough and we kept dripping on people and planting those seeds and some people came back like i was surprised six years later And they're like, oh, you're still doing this thing? I'm like, yeah, I'm still doing this thing. Okay, now tell me what you got. I'm ready to listen. But if I quit two months down the road, they will never come to that, you know, solution or realization or whatever. So whatever message you're sharing is very powerful, where you have someone listening right now or not. Like I have people messaging me, oh, I saw your video about x y and z and i'm like wait a minute that video is like four years old (laughs) like yeah that's how much impact it can have on someone and on others they would be like just going in one ear and coming out through the other because they're not ready for that information the same like when you read a book first time uh you get some information out of you read it for the second time it's like oh my gosh like how did I that miss makes this? so much sense. Like, yeah. how come I didn't notice it like last time? It happens all the time. It's because you are different. Yeah. You are, you have everything. Like we constantly changing and growing. Yesterday, actually, I was watching the episode of Sex and the City, the, the new one, the new show. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So whatever the latest episode was out yesterday, I think t- today will be a new one, but it was about Carrie sharing... Uh, her book with other widows, something like this. And she said to them, like she had like a speaking engagement. She said, you move on, not because you're ready. You move on because you have outgrown who you used to be. Yeah. I got goosebumps. I was like, and she was talking about grief and moving on, you know, with your life when your spouse passes away. And I was like, that's, for everything that can be applied to everything you move on you make that business decision not because you're ready but because you outgrown your old self and that's the thing is you're always going to keep growing you're always going to keep if you like this is something that that i would hope that you're doing is continually growing continually bettering yourself continually expanding your mind okay so that the person that you are today is not the same person that you were yesterday or last year, okay? You are, you are constantly growing and improving and getting better. So that, you know, as, as, as people meet you, they're thinking, okay, but like you, you're actually, you're not the same person that I met six years ago, you know? 
So, yeah. I'd love to hear what your takeaway is. I think we've been like, well, we touched all, all we've over been the all place. Over. <laughs> <laughs> but the main point that we tried to deliver to you guys that you can't, you can take horse to the water, but you can't make a drink, meaning it can be applied to anything, to your team, to your own family, to your own journeys that, mm -hmm. you know, you're just not ready for it. Or you make that decision, you realize, oh my gosh, it was just a waste of time or money. And it's not everything. Everything happens for a reason for everyone. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> um we would we've been telling you for a little while and um if you haven't grabbed and if you if you want to unleash your inner badass um we have an incredible course that is going for a song at the moment okay literally going for a song um and it is about to go up a lot so if you want to grab it We'll drop a link below this video for you to go and and fill in a questionnaire um, and and get yourself into Unleash Your Inner Badass, which is an incredible course to help you um, get past all the limiting beliefs, get past all the, you know, the crap that you're telling yourself and and unleash your inner badass. Um, so there'll be a link below this video. Grab it now. Um, it will be going up in the next, I don't know, two weeks. Two mm -hmm. weeks. Yeah. The price will stay low for two more weeks and then it's going up. It's going. And I want to share a little bit why we decided to create the course. We all beaches are doers. Like, tell me what to do and I'll do it. And I'll do it three times harder than everyone else because that's how I was programmed to operate in my life. You go and you do your homework and you do your whatever when you're in school and read three more books and <laughs> whatever. That's how you succeed in life. So I was applying the same paradigm in my business. Just tell me what to do. And I was surprised that no matter how much I did, I barely saw any results. And once I realized that it's not happening for me, no matter how much I do, because I'm in the mindset of a loser. I'm in the mindset of a shy girl who never achieved anything in her life, who was bullied, who was misunderstood and who became so shy that even though I knew all the answers, I never raised my hand in school. And I decided that, you know what, there is another part of me somewhere in there that is actually is a badass already. And she's begging me to come out and show that side of me, but I just didn't know how I didn't know. I had the fear of what my, my relatives will think of me. They know me as the shy person. And now suddenly like you're a badass. So I had to go through a lot of transformation and digging and unleashing that badass. And it was a long journey. And for many people, that's what they actually need in order to start seeing results in their business and their life. They just need to unleash that part of themselves that they already are. And we guide you step by step how to do it, how to battle those, uh, whatever you call them, uh, uh, limiting beliefs and thoughts that are holding you back. And truly, no matter what you want in life, you can achieve it. And you can achieve it a lot faster than majority of people are. So if that sounds familiar to you, you're, you're doing a lot of things, not seeing a lot of results, and you know that your mindset is not in a badass place. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely need this course. It will help you a lot. And you will see that you will be doing the same things, making the same posts, sending the same messages, but the result will be different because the energy that you're going to put into those activities is going to be not the loser. It's going to be a badass that knows what it wants and going for it, right? Regardless where someone approves it or wants you to do or have. Yep. You're just going to go for it. So it's totally different energy that you're going to cultivate and show up with. And that's what magnetic, that's what attracts people to you. And that's what attracts money to you. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys probably felt like that when I was sharing with this, I didn't was like, oh, yeah, there's a course 
that we created, like it might help you, blah, 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 right? Is it like the different energy? Uh, it's the same course, but you probably, that's how you're promoting your business. Like, oh, go check it out. Maybe you will like it. <laughs> yeah, that's the difference. of. The I can tell you this course will transform your life. It will. Um, I can't actually say it any better than that. It will. It, it. If yeah. you do the you work, come out. Not, just, not just buy it and let it sit on yeah, your don't buy it and just let it sit, you know. <laughs> but, you have to do the work. If you do and, the work, if you go through it and you do the work. And usually this inner work is the hardest. Yeah. Because no one taught us at school, at school how to do it. No one, my parents didn't teach me how to do it. So this work is the hardest. And you need someone who've been in your shoes, who walk the walk, who talk the talk, and who can hold your hand and guide you through this journey. Awesome. So the link will be below this video. Um, and until next time, um, drop your biggest takeaway in the in the chat. Let us know what your biggest takeaway was. Um, and we'll, we'll see, see you next week. Bye, everyone.